Hey guys, welcome to another video. I have filmed most of what I ate today, and so I will be most. I filmed all of what I um, ate today, and so I'm going to share all that. And I didn't really film any little snippets in between or explained much of um, what I'm eating, why I'm eating it, etc. So, in I think a video two, um, two videos back, I mentioned that I was researching and looking into intermittent fasting and even more than that, the, this one meal a day um, way of living. So it's been, I think, six days since I um, started shortening my window. If I had my phone, uh, I think I deleted it, I guess, but the last three, so the first three days I basically was eating right around 12 o'clock noon. Um, I had one meal and then um, I had a second meal close to dinner time around 4.35ish. So I was pretty much eating within a window of, you know, four and a half, five hours. That was the first two days. Then the next day I um, had a lot to do and I just, you know, kept doing my thing. I didn't actually get to eating my first meal until 1, 1 1.30. And then I spent the next two and a half hours eating food. And I wasn't like stuffing myself, but I was um, just eating. And I didn't feel super hungry either. I wasn't, you know, I, I'm not someone who's had any issues with, with food. I know a lot of people um, deal with various eating disorders, but I've never dealt with that, and, um, so, like, I know my body pretty well at this point, so if I'm feeling hungry, I'm gonna eat, um, but, yeah, I did that, and then I didn't eat at all the rest of that day, and then the following day, I did basically the same thing, and so, um, for two days, I ate just one meal a day, and that second day, these arrived. And so these are the supplements that I um, had before or after that first meal of the day. Um, and since then, the last two days, I've eaten within a six hour um, period of time because of, of family stuff more than anything. But that has felt super good the, when I ate just the one meal, that felt fine too. I'm not really attached to um, continuing this or, or um, you know, moving forward and committing to this one meal a day. I have a lot of travel coming up in the next at least two months and so I don't see it being something that I can, you know, maintain in the way that I've been able to these last six days. But I'm definitely going to be more conscious moving forward with if I'm eating to simply eat and fulfill some time or something lacking in my life or if I'm eating just because um, I'm hungry and I really, you know, am wanting and craving some food. Uh, it's definitely changed my um, idea my understanding, my experience with hunger. And so it's not like I'm waiting longer. I just kind of felt like I never, you know, consistently felt that hungry feeling like you kind of do towards the end of, um, you know, that that morning after you've, you've not eaten, eaten, um, you know, 
through the evening you've slept and then you know in the morning into the early afternoon um, so it's been a super interesting process and I guess I kind of want to really get into the video and what I ate but I suppose I want to talk about these first so through through watching that video about the guy who eats one meal a day it sent me all over looking at different articles and the guy who created that video's name is Marcus um, something like Roths something um, anyway he's done a lot of research and recently because of a book I read and um, just in general my curiosity with uh, plants in relation to you know healing your body um, I've you know been more interested in consuming local plants around where I am and so been eating more like dandelions and nettles and um, white clover and so you know when I found these products I was just so excited because um, they are it's a wild plant protein and so what's in here I'll just I'll show you guys it you can pause the video I think I'll also leave links for you to to look it up I'm obviously not um, sponsored in any way to promote I I just share what um, I've been enjoying and this is something that has been super awesome so there's pine nut durian if you haven't tried a fresh or frozen durian you should S some people love it some people hate it but it's amazing um, pumpkin seeds corella spirulina quinoa pea protein hemp seeds nettle leaf uh, licorice root sprouted brown rice uh, yucca D vanilla, date sugar, alfalfa juice powder, magnesium, malmate, nutritional yeast, coconut water powder, and a few others. Um, this is awesome. And here is the other one. This was actually the real reason I got on the website, but um, I was convinced into getting the plant protein as well. But this is the green formula, which is obviously all wild as well. Um, we have activated young barley grass, alfalfa juice, amaranth sprout, nettle leaf, arugula, prickly pear, fruit, oat grass, corella, plantain, dandelion root, green stevia, kudzu leaf, kale, chickweed, watercress, burdock root, ginkgo, oh my gosh, chia sprout, chia seed, moringa leaf, peppermint leaf, parsley, licorice root, asparagus, uh, bamboo stem and leaf papaya juice concentrate grape juice concentrate red clover blossom apple pectin malic acid red raspberry leaf bladder whack dull spinach the there's even more than i read there um it's all on his website he you know states all the ingredients and um the benefits of those ingredients and, you know, part of this, um, you know, moving that window of time that you're eating to a smaller period of time, um, you have to be more conscious of getting nutrients and, and even more so when you're just eating one meal a day. And so what this is, similar to um, what people eat on the one meal a day, which is an elixir usually of um, branch amino acids and a whole bunch of other um, proteins and vitamins. And there's a whole big list that I had of things that I was like, yes, you know, if this is really what I want to do and experiment with, I should get all these things. And then I came across these products, which... Um, I feel is um, fulfilling all those necessary things that I um, would be otherwise getting from a more unnatural source from a very natural and um, 
earthy um, place, I guess. Overall, I've been feeling super good. It's only been obviously 10 days and this channel started because I wanted to share um, like vegan recipes and um, you know, kind of vlog my life but also share what I was eating. And it's totally, you know, gone all over the place for those of you who have followed my journey but um, you know, my number one priority was always health and while I've said this, you know, for the past four years and whenever I, I think about what needs to be, you know, top priority, it's always my health and yet it really hasn't been and I think it's, it's really been the past few months that I feel almost forced into um, pursuing, you know, my health and the betterment of of me so that I can do more things that I love and so that I can continue to support um, the people around me that need support. So I think I will be sharing more videos on this topic um, in the future because it's cool and um, it's now kind of a part of my part of my life, part of something that I've been experiencing. So yeah, let's just get into the actual what I ate um, today and then I will come back and share with you more typical um, meals because this was not really a typical day of eating for me. Well, this was terrible timing, but it's starting to downpour. But I've come outside to search for some greens for my salad. Oh no! Uh oh, quick! Here we go. I'm picking some dandelion greens. Those look okay. Let's see, what else can I find? Dandelion, where are you? Oh, here. There we go. There we go. That's probably enough. Oh. The downpour has somewhat stopped. I feel pretty wet. I just got a few greens. I was going to put arugula in it, but then I decided why not grab some dandelions, put those in it. Super Greens Veggie Burger is what I'm having for lunch. It is almost one o'clock now. This is what it is. Where's the ingredients? Ingredients are down there. You're going to have to pause that if you really want to read it. I'm not going to read it all out, but um, this is the burger. And I've got dill, tomato, onion, pepper, dandelion greens from outside, some avocado, and, oh, I threw that out. Let me grab it. I've got some vegan chow cheese.
Hope you guys enjoyed that um, short little compilation of what I ate today. Uh, you know, I, I typically do have a good amount of fruit, and so the smoothie bowl in the morning was, um, I guess, somewhat normal. Um, I'll often have maybe oatmeal or toast with fruit. Um, but yeah, I've been leaning a little bit more towards oatmeal of lately, just um, easy and filling, and I like it, so that's what I tend to eat more of um, in the morning. And then lunchtime, you know, I, I tend to eat a lot of, like, hummus and rice and veggies or um, a salad with a piece of bread or... Um, you know, rice and beans and salsa and corn, um, avocado. It sort of, it obviously varies, but the burger thing um, is, you know, I've had veggie burgers, I think, twice in the past two weeks, but prior to that, I probably haven't had any veggie burgers in, like, a year, maybe more. Um, so, just to put that in perspective... Uh, and then dinner, that, like, veggie calzone, I don't know what you want to call it, um, yeah, that was a collection of a whole bunch of crazy, um, vegetables from a CSA that my family is a part of, as well as, you know, the dandelions that I picked earlier. Definitely do eat a lot of sweet potatoes and potatoes, um, lots of, lots of hummus and pesto, um, salads. I'll be sharing more just because I feel like it's relevant now that I've been kind of experimenting with this. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to share about this here. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them below. I'm going to try to put as many resources as I can so that you can explore this um, for yourself, uh, I, I wouldn't, I'm not saying one way to eat is better than another, um, I'm just sharing my experience, and so, you know, you can take it as you, as you wish. I've just been feeling really good lately, I'm not really sure why, it could have to do with this, um, kind of manifesting stuff that I'm working on right now, and, um, just in general feeling a little bit lighter in in my life and so it could have to do with that could have to do with my eating who knows you know um, there's a lot of different things I do to try and improve my my health going outside grounding forest therapy and you know noticing what I eat and now this um, um, inter intermittent now this you know shortening my period of time that I'm actually eating and so who knows what it is, but this combination feels good right now, and I will continue to do it as long as it makes sense. And, um, yeah, as long as it makes sense in my life and it's not um, a big hassle or, um, you know, I'm as long as I'm still feeling good, basically, I will continue to do this. And these products are incredible, and I've only been taking them for three days, but... There's, I just, I just, <laughs> I just feel so good. I can't tell you enough. Um, life's good right now. Yeah. I just sat down and talked for 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. I will see you guys in another video. I appreciate you hanging on if you're still on here um i will see you super super soon i hope you're having an amazing day